All right, thank you guys very much for um, coming to this webinar today, The Digital Office, A New Reality for Your Organization. At this time, I would like to just again remind everyone to mute your phones if you haven't done so. And again, if you have a question during the presentation, please submit it via the chat function to Christina. And I'd like to, at this point, introduce our speaker for the day. Our speaker today is John Smetana. He has been in the enterprise content management industry since 2001, working for both Captivation and Oracle Corporation. He is a recent addition to Image Source as the Vice President of iLink's ECM Sales. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to John Smetana. Thank you very much, Kim, and hello, everyone. We have a great webinar and agenda planned for you today. What you'll gain from today's session is how a document management system will have a positive impact on your business or organization. You'll see firsthand just how versatile iLink's content store is to use and to administrate and deploy. It is very different from other document management systems, and it's not just about the technology. Having a results-oriented, uh, customer-focused, and competent technology partner is absolutely just one of, the, one of the important keys to making your project successful. From Boeing to Costco Wholesale, four of the largest United States banks, to community colleges and universities, city and county government agencies, as well as hundreds of privately held corporations, ImageSource has been there for its customer partners every step of the way. Today's webinar will wrap up with a question and answer session, so what do you say we get go ahead and get started? To appreciate the value of a document management system, we first need to understand the business challenges and barriers that we experience every day in businesses and organizations alike. Therefore, I'm going to cover some research and statistics from a very well-respected organization within the enterprise content management industry known as AIM. And if you haven't been to their website, I highly suggest that you go, go there and visit and look at the information that they have. Did you realize that companies spend about $20 in labor just to file a document? And I'm not talking about the documents that you put in your desk drawer and that, that type of thing, but I want you to think about the entire process of how a document actually ends up in a file cabinet, such as invoices that come into your organization. They first have to be received by someone either in the mail room or uh, they have to be received uh, by someone that will actually go through and sort them and route them to various uh, people in the organization. Once they land on your desk, they have to be open, reviewed, um, and probably with, with something like an invoice, they have to go through some type of workflow process, either to be reviewed by a supervisor, approved, maybe there's exceptions and so forth. So it doesn't take long to really under, you know, understand or actually see how uh, documents like an invoice can add up to $20 just to actually file it. <clears throat> Ironically, then, you know, with, with all this process and so forth in place to go ahead and file documents so we can retrieve them, we actually spend about 50% of our time looking for information and looking for documents. But we only spend about anywhere from 5 to 15% of our time actually reading and reviewing the information. This means we're spending up to 10 times as much uh, uh, of our day just looking for information. This also creates a challenge for supervisors, as they will spend anywhere uh, upwards of 50% of their time just trying to uh, manage and distribute workload, uh, really kind of take a look at, you know, where, where there might be productivity uh, challenges, as well as supporting uh, backlog. What if you had a system that actually could distribute the workload? Watch it, listening to you. Could you please mute your phone? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. So if you had a system that actually could distribute the workload, provide an up-to-minute up dashboard, or actually help you uh, analyze workload trends and that, that type of thing, what, what would that do to your business? We spend about 3% of our, or 3 of, the, of our documents are actually misfiled. Um, maybe they're just simply sitting on someone's desk. Um, and it costs about $120 in labor just to find a misfiled uh, document. You stop to really think about when, when you can't find a document, you know, what really happens? Um, do you involve other people? If, if by chance, uh, you know, you and four of the people spend five minutes each looking for that document, you actually have spent about 25 minutes 
looking for that document. So really $120 trying to find misfiled documents or information really isn't totally out of the question. This is a kind of an interesting statistic. 7.5% of our documents are considered, uh, are, are lost. Um, and that's a, that's a pretty high number. Um, but when you take a look at the cost to recreate that document, you know, it's, again, it, it, it creates, uh, additional cost and inefficiency in our business. <clears throat> If, you know, in trying to recreate that document, it could involve, you know, several people or organizations. You may have to contact vendors, suppliers, customers, business partners uh, involved. So, you know, it's it's costly to replace those documents. We certainly have an obsession with paper. Uh, according to Price Waterhouse Coopers, and this is where the statistic came uh, came from. About uh, uh, we tend to copy copy a document about 19. Uh, times. Of course, it has to be filed in, in something, file cabinet, for example. And uh, um, the statistics from office space across uh, the world in 2008, at that point in time, office space was increasing at a rate of about 19%. Now, I realize office space um, has, has probably uh, softened a bit in, in the past few years, but if you really look at, at, at an organization's budget, um, it's still a pretty uh, expensive amount to, uh, for office space and uh, real estate. Many businesses today still um, send and share documents through faxing, and uh, um, you know, the, the cost uh, of a single fax machine, according to Capteros, which is a software company that specializes in, in, in faxing technology, is about $6,200 a year. It also takes quite a bit of time to actually send the documents and it's about eight minutes to manually send a uh, an average fax document. It's likely not possible to completely remove the courier from uh, your budget. Uh, however, if you have a document management system, think in terms of this, just how many uh, times could you save on those courier fees if you had such a system? If you make use of a courier, the average cost to send a package or express letter is about eight to fifteen dollars. And email is another another area where we spend a lot of our time sending and sharing documents. Um, to date, by forecast by the uh, Radicati uh, group, and they they do a lot of studies and white papers on uh, uh, email and uh, messaging and so forth. We're handling about uh, 28 megabytes of emails every day, and sending and receiving about 133 emails every single day. It's a lot of information going back and forth. So with paper and electronic documents that do not have a system to really manage them and automate business processes, it can really create a barrier between coworkers, supervisors, and the information that they need to really keep up with the demands of their jobs. It also creates challenges uh, working with vendors, business partners, and customers. Inefficiency and higher operating costs are, uh, are just two of the symptoms that we experience. Although there's great value in productivity gains by integrating document management systems with business applications for specific tasks such as accounts payable, claims processing, customer service, or account management, this can uh, often be a costly and time-consuming project just simply because of custom programming and old technology. A common uh, concern about implementing a document management system is about controlling access and uh, use and security. You may be asking yourself with all of your documents online, what safeguards are in place to protect my documents from misuse and security breaches? It's not policy and regulation compliance and disaster recovery that really create a, uh, a, a barrier. It, many times it's just a tendency to procrastinate on uh, you know, two very important items uh, and strategic tasks uh, with, within your business. It's really not until like an audit or uh, some type of uh, natural disaster or a fire or something like that that happens that we really begin to realize what the true cause of not taking care of important matters uh, happen to cost our business. Furthermore, uh, saving everything uh, and saving just all of your documents and information really isn't an effective strategy either. Uh, the, docu the documents that you can legally dispose of but actually hang on to just might be a very costly, costly business mistake. And until recently, document management systems were largely targeted for big business, government agencies and organizations, making them too expensive and too costly 
for small, medium, and emerging sized companies um, because uh, they simply were designed for these bigger and larger uh, companies and organizations. This, they become really very difficult to install, operate, and, uh, and maintain. So the catch-all phrase of one size fits all really doesn't apply here. So what I want to do is, is kind of take some of these statistics and information that I've shared uh, with you uh, so far and really kind of bring, bring it down to reality in, in talking about a couple of, uh, a few case studies here. And the first one is Miracosta College. Uh, they are a, a community college in Southern California. Um, they have to deal with um, the transactional uh, information and so forth to enroll um, uh, students every semester. And they have about 10,500. It becomes very challenging uh, to manage these, these records of information because they've got things such as financial aid, applications, um, transcripts, uh, so on and so forth, all these kinds of things that, that go into managing a student from the point of application to the point of uh, graduation. And Maricosta College was, was also a customer of ours that was using an older uh, document management system. So they had some technical issues which really, really um, prompted them to wanting to make some changes, such as they had some problems with uh, their, their existing browsers. And they also needed to make sure that they could move their information from their existing system into um, into a, a new one. Why uh, Tumor Registry, they they are very involved with uh, reporting and tracking uh, cancer cases in Hawaii. They manage anywhere from 6,000 to 7,000 cases uh, annually. And they need uh, secure multi-department uh, 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 system use that provides permissions and use to review patient abstracts. They, too, are using um, an older system built on older technology, so they had some browser compatibility issues. And they also had data and documents that were very limited in the way that they could analyze information uh, as well. And uh, the third example I want to bring out is uh, National Frozen Foods. Now, this is a, uh, a food processing company, um, and uh, their, their main thing is that they needed a better way to deal with their accounts payable process. They're, they're, they're handling about 2,500 invoices uh, monthly. All the data was entered uh, manually. Um, all the associated paper documents, invoices, delivery receipts, um, so on and so forth, are, were all residing in file cabinets. And this presented a problem because they had to physically route and, and, and do approvals and so forth through a physical workflow. Um, in addition to their main headquarters, they also have several plants and so forth across the country. The beauty of this is that enterprise content management overcomes all these challenges and puts you in control. <clears throat> With enterprise content management, all of these benefits that are listed here on this, on this slide are either automated or immediate, making your business processes extremely efficient, saving you both time and money. Now, at ImageSource, we believe Island's content store is the answer. It is a flexible enterprise content management repository that, is, that has the potential to be used as widely as email or the telephone. It is simple to use. It is powerful enough for business use. It is secure to, sco to uh, scan, store, and retrieve all of your documents and content. Island's Content Store supports a variety of, de of scanning devices, so we can make use of desktop scanners. If your business has MFDs and MFPs already, we can we can also uh, work with those uh, type of devices as well. Um, something that has become very popular is work group network attack scanners, such as the, the picture uh, Canon scan front right here on my slide. There are over 100 different document types that Island's Content Store supports just right out of the box. This is co the commonly used uh, file types for a document management system are TIFFs, PDFs, JPEGs and Microsoft Office documents. However, what we're also seeing is that many businesses and organizations are now wanting to store rich media content and be able to manage that, such as MP4s and WAV files. What you'll experience with Island's Content Store is the need for uh, a lot of training. In other words, we say there will be minimal training. Simply with one-click user functions and quick and easy uh, to, uh, to master user interface, you'll see your user adop adoption absolutely skyrocket, and your end-user training will not be a burden on your budget. 
Being able to integrate both iLink's content store with your business applications for common tasks such as accounts payable, claims processing, customer service, or contracts management has a lot of uh, value to your organization. And iLink's integrate uh, that works with iLink's content store makes this very affordable because it's designed to be a rapid deployment and has a low-cost means to accomplish the integration of, of this type. In this particular scenario, I'm able to retrieve my documents directly from my business application, and in this case, it happens to be SAP. There will be less time spent uh, on system management and security by your system administrator, simply because all of the index data, the images, the documents, the files, the front end, are all stored within the Microsoft SQL Server database. This is unlike most document management systems that have a database and then a separate place to store all the documents and images and information. Um, so you have two, two, two things to manage there. Later, I'll cover some of the aspects on just how easy it is to add and edit applications. Really, what this does is it all adds up to making uh, your company more self-reliant on managing this system, and it lowers the total cost of ownership in using information technology. System updates won't be disruptive to end users anymore, simply because we're able to automate and manage those through a centralized system administrator council. This is made possible because Island's content store is built on, on a web-based architecture, more specifically Microsoft's latest .NET web-based uh, uh, technology uh, to make that happen. The super simple uh, user interface of Island's content store is, again, unlike uh, other document management systems. It is unique, and end users catch on on how to use the system right away. So, for example, to file a, a document in Island's content store, we both support uh, batch scanning as well as being able to import documents right into the system. The term batch simply means that I have a group of, of, of documents. It might be a group of, of all the same document types, such as invoices, or it might be interrelated documents like a student file that has uh, things such as an, app, uh, an application, transcripts, financial aid documentation, letters of recommendation, and personal identification. Next, all the system will prompt prompt you to index the documents. An index simply means that I'm what I am is what I'm doing is adding keywords and data for searchability uh, for for later uh, purposes. Index fields can be tailored to your specific document requirements. So this means that you can choose uh, like what name you give them, the field type, such as uh, creating a field, uh, a, a date field, and then how many index uh, fields there are per document. All that can be configured and tailored to your needs. After indexing documents, simply click the complete button, and uh, the documents are filed into iLink's content store. You can also drag and drop your documents right from your computer's desktop directly into iLink's content store. The system will automatically prompt you for which application to store the, the content into, as well as the index fields that are required for the document. At some point, you'll need to search for documents, and there are three ways to, uh, to find them. The first is a, is a uh, very unique uh, type search uh, to, uh, to Island's content store, and that is being able to actually enter in a, uh, an ind index field value that is global across the entire system. So, for example, if I know what the customer ID number is, I just simply enter it where I've, where I've circled, circled this right here on, on, on the uh, user interface. The system will, will find the documents that relate to that and then display them down over here. If I need a more advanced search, um, I can enter in uh, specific things like invoice number, customer ID, perhaps a date range, and so forth, and that uh, is, is done right here. I can also search for documents uh, very much like uh, going through folders on my on my desktop. In this case, what we have what we have given is uh, um, we use applications, and then you can go through kind of a folder subfolder search uh, right here to to find documents as well. So we give you three options to find your documents and content. You can also annotate uh, the documents as well. So if you need to to uh, use something such as a redaction which is um, uh, a feature here. Uh, this, this black area right here. Um, maybe what you need to hide is something like a social security number or something of that area. 
if you need to create uh, uh, a highlighted area to bring attention to something, you can add that uh, to the document. Or you can add text right to the document as well. We also have something called a discussion thread. And a discussion thread is simply a way to add notes to a, uh, a document where there might be uh, comments needed from multiple people, and you also want to track them. The thing I want to make, uh, make, uh, make a point of with annotations is that they are not, one, permanent, and two, they are permission as to whether you can use them or, or not use them. You can also email a document with basically a one click of a, of a button and an email address. This will integrate with uh, Microsoft Outlook, and uh, your email screen will open up. You'll have a, a, an attachment ready to go. It gets named. Uh, you can have it named right off of the uh, <clears throat> right off the index values. So um, it's it's very simple to, uh, to share information if you need to email uh, a document to someone. There are some other user options that uh, that also exist within Island's Content Store to collaborate and repurpose uh, the information. For example, uh, there's this uh, function called pinning. And pinning allows, basically allows you to temporarily keep documents available for later viewing. You may need to search for some other documents that you want to actually compare the two. Our customers have been actually very impressed with this. In fact, you know, in some cases they've said, wow, that's, oh, that's awesome. Um, but it, but it's, a, it's just some of these little features and so forth that actually make a big, big difference in the ability to uh, review and analyze information, allowing uh, them to make uh, better informed decisions, but actually also be more productive in the way that they access and retrieve and uh, use uh, documents. If this screen looks super simple to you, um, well, it's because it is. Uh, this is the uh, basically uh, an, an admin view of, uh, uh, and it's much like the user experience. It's uh, been kept uh, simple and straightforward. So creating and editing applications is, is, is very simple. You'll notice uh, over here on, uh, on the very top part here, um, my buttons for admin, capture, and search are all right there. This means an admin can actually set up uh, and create an application, move right to capture and search for testing before that application is actually brought into production. So it makes it very, very simple. Down here, um, this is where uh, an admin will create an application create an application, assign users and groups, and assign permissions as to what they can do with those documents. So you can see it's very, it's kept very, very simple, very, very straightforward. Something that you just won't see in other document management systems, especially those that are built on client server technology. Next I'm going to cover how Island's Content Store's architecture lends itself to being versatile and how it's deployed. Island's Content Store comes complete out of the box. And what I mean by that, it allows you to add documents by scanning or importing documents. And that, and that all that you need is, uh, for that is a PC with either a, a browser that is uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox. Furthermore, uh, what makes it complete is it allows you to retrieve those documents, again, through a browser, um, really from anywhere in or out of your network. All that you really need access to uh, is uh, the Internet or your company's uh, network. And so long as you have the security rights and permissions, you'll be able to retrieve your documents. Your document capture process requires workflow queues for processing, processing like a loan or mortgage uh, type of uh, documents or more advanced capture functions such as optical character recognition, then Island's Capture is an excellent add-on that can be used to capture paper and electronic documents. And the handoff between Island's uh, Capture and Island's Content Store is seamless to users. It just goes right into, right into the system. Being able to retrieve the documents and so forth that have been that have been uh, processed and stored in Island's Content Store from Island's Capture, again, uh, with security and permission rights, they can be retrieved uh, literally from, from anywhere, either from within your browser, or if you happen to be using Islands Integrate with the system, you can retrieve those right from your line of business application. Earlier, I reviewed some business problems at Miracosta College, Hawaii Tumor Registry, and National Frozen Foods, and I'm going to summarize how they are benefiting Islands Content Store, how they are benefiting from Islands Content Store. 
covered near Costa College. It's cur currently what they're using is Island's content store uh, for a secure document repository and Island's capture for scanning and indexing. We used uh, Ilex export to uh, help with the migration of their data and documents from their outdated uh, system. Today what they have is something that is uh, a system that is much easier to use. It's certainly much more reliable and uh, it, you know, it has, has much better performance. A lot, a lot of that uh, browser issue and so forth you know, went away with the uh, with Ireland's content store being installed. They're, they're able to scale this now to other, other departments and they have uh, access to the legacy information, so we're able to move that information uh, into Island's content store from their older system. All of this uh, now in place allows them to look uh, towards the future, and, and they can look at things uh, like integration with their other systems like PeopleSoft. Why Tumor Registry really found Island's content store to be a complete solution to scan, store, and retrieve. And so, um, what they have now today is a secure document management system. Uh, it is greatly improved in scalability and reliability. And what they what, what they have found is that there are some features and functionality within Island's content store that improves their analytics of information. In other words, being able to scale the thumbnails of, uh, of a multi-page document allows them to compare uh, different pages or actually go to a specific page within the document. They also use the pinup feature to uh, compare uh, patient abstracts. In some cases, what they're looking for are common trends and so forth with patients that can either identify um, either uh, causes uh, as to why someone has, has uh, uh, gotten cancer, or maybe what they can do with that research is actually begin to uh, develop that data and, and come up with uh, uh, places where they need to come up with a cure. They also use the global search function, so that, that has become a much easier uh, way to use the system. And they really, uh, they also commented on the fact that the single web interface, especially in the admin view, was, uh, was a welcome change. National Frozen Foods, um, uh, they use Island's Content Store. They use Island's Capture. They, they actually use the workflow functioning functions and so forth uh, in the capture portion. And then they also have a, an ERP system that they wanted to integrate Island's Content Store with, so they use the Island's Integrates product. What they've been able to gain from this and benefit is improved efficiencies, uh, more specifically um, being able to take advantage of early payment discounts when those are made, pop when those are made possible. Yeah. They're also able to reduce shipping and paper storage. And, you know, two things that, that, that they found with Island's Content Store is that it didn't require an army of servers and, and so forth. They've been able to deploy this with a small footprint. And the training has been fairly, fairly minimal. And now what they're looking forward to doing is extending this to other processes, such as human resources and quality assurance areas. Now I've got a, uh, a, a nice little treat for you. Um, um, we've got a video here. It's, it's very short in length, but it, I think it does, uh, National Post Foods, uh, you've got a chance to hear straight from them exactly um, how Highlands Content Store is impacting the business. It was really the, the simpleness of it. It had all the features that we needed. You know, it had workflow. It, in the capture side, and we, it had all the things that we needed to do, but it also didn't have anything that we didn't need. It was ready to go. National Frozen Foods Corporation is a company that's been around since 1912, and we produce today around 300 million pounds of vegetables a year. Like in the plants, when, when they receive invoices, we have no idea that they have them. A lot of times they'll send them to us on the day that they're due, so that everybody up here is rushing. Oh no, we have to pay these. The stress is, it's just not a good system. Over the years, we've been looking for an ECM system that is streamlined, easy to use, very simple, and allows us to grow into it. And the iLink system is a system that will allow us to do that. Nothing's gonna be sitting on someone's desk. We have visibility into the queues, and if something sits there for too long, then it, it's going to tell us that, hey, this voucher hasn't been paid. You know, that person's on vacation. Go, somebody else go handle it. There's a lot of workflow hidden behind the actual process that's taking place here and on moving these forms electronically through different queues and getting them to the right people at the right place at the right time. I think Syntegrate is pretty cool because it allows you to take two programs that, that don't really know about each other and, and to connect them. I like to call it the magic button. And we use that magic button to allow other people into the 
content store to get to the images without having to train them on how to use the imaging system, without having to install it, and without having to leave the system that they're currently in. Our ERP has a voucher number. We have the magic button, we press it, and then pulls up the image of the voucher right there. The main feature that piqued our interest was the simplicity. You know, as soon as we saw the demo, we could see the entire package. We could, you know, mentally we had to say, oh, I understand this thing. We understood all the facets of it. We could, we could run this thing. We thought, this is something we think we can fit into, and not just fit into today, but grow for tomorrow in the other areas, such as HR, payroll, uh, QA, those are the areas we have lots of paper. Most of our work in the training side has been procedural on how to assemble the documents, how to do it. The actual software training needs have been just been minimal because the stuff just makes sense. It doesn't really get in anybody's way. And also, I thought that this would be a good time to ask a question, John, because I, I feel it's relevant to the case studies that you were just talking about. We had a question come in that, sure. uh, that said, how long did it take to actually install iLink's Content Store? Installing iLink's Content Store actually can be installed installed and, and put, in, put into use within, uh, within a day um, is it, what we're seeing. In the case of, like, uh, a National Frozen Foods, it was a little bit, a little bit more involved. Um, because we need to do some workflow and the islands to integrate. But uh, if you really compare it to other document management systems that can really take months to install, um, they were up and running uh, so quickly. Um, I think it surprised them and it also surprised us. Um, so it's, it, it doesn't take long to, to begin to see results. All right, very good. So um, I'm going to run through just a, a, a couple more slides here, and then we're going to move into uh, uh, some further Q&A uh, as we conclude the uh, conclude the webinar. You know, one of the things that I think is real real important to to point out here is not just about you know the problems, the challenges, the technology, and that kind of thing, but you really need a good technology partner that that has you know, you know been through a, a lot of these uh, things. You know, we, at ImageSource, we have time tested uh, methodologies. We're a very well-established company. We're founded in 1994. And our roots are in enterprise content management. So we really, really, really know this stuff. We have over 250 years of cumulative uh, experience in this industry. We know what works and we know what doesn't work. You know, the, what you see here on this slide is just a small sampling of the hundreds of customer partners that we serve every single day. And they come from uh, a great set of diverse industries and so forth, um, such as financial services, uh, government agencies, both city, county, and uh, also state and federal. Uh, we also work in the, the healthcare industry, higher education, manufacturing, and transportation. You know, all, although these customers all use either the same or similar technologies and so forth, what we have not done at Imsource is really take kind of a one-size-fits-all approach. We really get to understand your business, your business problems, and then begin to tailor um, how uh, that system will work within your business and really make it work for you. And I think that's, you know, that really speaks to the, you know, what is the uh, image source uh, difference. It's also, uh, I think, it's important to, uh, to point out that uh, we work with a, a, a number of vendors and partners and so forth. And ImageSource is a premier or platinum level partner for companies like Oracle, IBM, EMC, and Cofax, and many others that you see on this uh, particular slide. There's a big difference between being just a reseller and being just uh, and, and being a top performing uh, partner for these uh, types of companies year after year. And again, that makes ImageSource very unique. We also are very experienced in integrating and working with business applications and interrelated uh, products that uh, document management actually touches. And because of that, uh, uh, you know, we were able to actually craft and, and, and develop solutions that work and work together. Again, you know, this is the image source difference that uh, can make your project successful. And then lastly, I, I just kind of want to wrap up today's webinar before we get into the Q&A session and, and leave you with this final thought. Islands is a brand and suite of software applications and tools that ImageSource has been developing and supporting for many years. And Islands Content Store simply completes 
a major piece to fulfilling a vision of Island's content store, which is to offer small, medium, and emerging companies a complete and affordable document management system. So with that, um, I want to uh, wrap this up, uh, get into some questions and answer, and then we will uh, conclude today's uh, webinar session. Thanks, John. So we had a couple of questions come in over the course of the presentation, so uh, I just wanted to get into some of those questions. So the first one is, what browsers can be used with iLinks Content Store? iLinks Content Store supports uh, two browsers, Internet Explorer and uh, Firefox. Great, thanks. So another question was, I, does iLinks Content Store integrate with Active Directory? Um, yes, it does. Um, you can, for security and uh, managing groups and users and so forth, you can either use what's built in out of the box with Islands Content Store, or if you are using Active Directory, uh, we integrate with that uh, as well. Do you have another question, Kim? Yes, we have a couple more. Uh, does Islands Content Store only work with Microsoft Office to email documents? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, in order to email documents and so forth, you just uh, simply need an IMAP uh, compliant uh, email system, and that will work uh, just as well. Great. And then uh, another question, what existing business applications does iLinks Content Store integrate with? We use a variety from common out-of-the-box software to obscure customized applications. Nothing as big as SAP. Well, the integration with, uh, of Islands Content Store really depends upon um, the use of Islands Integrate and so forth. So Islands Integrate is not application specific um, between Islands Content Store and a business application. Simply it is, what it is is kind of uh, middleware code to make it uh, easy, fast, and very cost effective to integrate Islands Content Store with your business application, whether it's an out-of-the-box package or something that was uh, developed by uh, basically kind of a homegrown system. Any other questions, Kim? That was it for now. Thanks, John. Um, if anyone has any additional questions, uh, John's contact information is on the screen right now. You can contact him directly. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for attending our webinar. And we will be sending a follow-up email containing a recorded version of the presentation as well as a link to that uh, video of National Frozen Foods that we showed earlier. So thank you so much.